This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, we decided to go into the forest to find the secret entrance to this fortress, and we're inside, and we did it quite handily, too, with the thanks of our leg, uh, with our hovering leg parts, and just a bit of luck, you know. I think, did I eject punch, like, multiple times in that episode or something crazy like that? Anyway, we're inside, but we're in, we're gonna have to deal with what comes in, but we'll be able to do it. Let's find out. We lost contact with Area C-11. The enemies entered the base through a sewer. Send all the forces to attack the main enemy platoon. Or, did I give her the... Um, Tell the defense force inside the base to annihilate the Vanzers in the sewer. I think that's the voice I gave her. Yes, sir! Is there a Vanzer in the hangar? Yes! I'm going in myself. Ooh. Looks like we know who the boss is, who we're gonna fight if they've already... You know, we were trying to sneak in, but apparently it wasn't... It just wasn't good enough. Alright, fine. We knew it was gonna happen. This is a war, and... Perfectly made plans always always break apart at the beginning of a fight anyway. Be or the best laid plans are disturbed. Whatever the line is. I don't know. I'm not a... I'm not Sun Tzu. I'm not here taking over countries and writing books about war. Hmm. Seems a little dark in here. Could use a little light. If we take this out, I'll, it'll paralyze the fortress. Hmm. Paralyze it. I didn't think it paralyzed a fortress. Don't hold back. Destroy everything. Wow. But super grow. Ah. Uh, I guess there's light now, but yeah, they, they notice us. They're here. Engage with the boxers. Don't let them through. If we can't hold this position, the fortress is done for. Hold it with your life. All right. Well, that may make sense. We're attacking the government. Government, uh, the reason nothing works. Whoa! Is that a crane? <laughs> oh, Ryogo, you just got shot at, silly. <laughs> Whoa! What's that? Looks like a crane with a gun on it. Is that super effective? Wouldn't that be only effective in very specific settings and scenes? Like, wouldn't, that wouldn't be very optimal. Well, I guess it'd be optimal as a defense measure, I guess, but hey, anyway. whatever. They have one of those? Yeah, they do. Real good. There's no time to be scared. Let's go. I don't. I mean, he just got shot at, dude. Surprised he didn't get killed, you know. I mean, these bullets have to be strong enough to defeat like monsters, you know. So they have to shoot through the how many uh, inches of uh, metal in it. But anyway, for this fight, we're gonna leave Miho out of it. And we're gonna choose our four best dudes. This fight is hard to get a uh, a platinum medal on. We'll try our best, but. We did pretty good in the last two, but who knows. This is one of those fights where you have to keep your... It, it, the problem is keeping your damage low from how much... Well, I mean, it's always a problem, but you know what I mean. So let's choose our characters here. And we'll just go with the four. Uh, for this fight, make sure... At, at this point, you should have enough money for a defensive part. So make sure to... I think for this fight, most of the enemies... I mean, there are a couple that use impact... But the ones that are going to give us the most trouble are going to be piercing damage, so I'd suggest put piercing on everyone for the most part. Um, if you have the money, and you hopefully should, give everyone accuracy level 1 on their attacking arms. Uh, obviously, for people who aren't Kazuki, you only really need to do that for your the, the arm that actually uses the weapon. Like, for Ryogo, just uses, I think I keep him on his left arm. So the right arm, you could save your money. Just don't put the accuracy on that. Just leave that one alone. Um... If you do have a little extra money, you can buy the leg of eight stuff, but if you don't, that's fine. That's not as important here, but if you have it, it's always good to have it. Um, accuracy is the one where it's basically, I'm just going by the assumption that maybe you haven't been very lucky with uh, um, with uh, capturing mechs, so I'm going by that assumption. So, all right, let's just set everyone. I tend to set everyone the kind of the same almost every time for the most part. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, uh, this one, we have to eliminate eight enemies within 50 attacks, about 50 average damage, weapon level five, so now we can gain a few levels for our dudes and not hurt too badly, or at least one level. Uh, we have to do this within eight turns. Uh, I don't think there's any, oh, there's my medals. Let's just show you I've been platinum them all, even if I haven't been showing them all on screen. But, you know, that's more luck on that part, so. All right. Uh, 
Let's see, those are Jinkos, right? Or Jin How do I call them Jinkos? Jinyos. Uh, no specialty to them. We got a new, well, I mean, new for this playthrough anyway, a new weapon, the Brennos. Those are the crane guns or whatever. Those are the ones that shoot 80 millimeter rifle bullets. Oh, yeah. One shot, though, so if they miss, they miss. So, but, eh, yeah. I don't think they have any skills now. I didn't think so. Uh, let's see. I think we got a couple of Kazels here. Let's see. Uh, one, one, a two. Uh, I think it's just two actually. So we got two Kazels, two Branoses or Brinos or whatever you want to call them. And there's another Jinyo there. I think that just makes two Jinyos. I think. Uh, let's see. So not too bad, yeah. And the got a genie, the uh, the missile mech there. And finally, the boss, which obviously defeating the boss doesn't end the whole fight. It's just uh, she's just more got more special. She's the she's the sparkle or whatever it is from Lego. Um, yeah, she's got a minor AT for shoulder. Basically, she's just a shoulder weapon user, which is still nasty. So and no skills to warrant. I think she, her mech is slightly better than the others and, and everything, even though she doesn't have any upgrades or anything like that. But still, she's the boss. She's the boss man. Need the info. Okay, well, anyway. Um, what we want to do is we want to try to keep... Um, we want to try to destroy the Brennos as a genius without moving too far away from where we're currently at. Preferably... Without without drawing in the attention of the Kazels, at least for now, so to try and keep our damage levels low. So okay, so what's our to hit on the Brennos? It's not bad either. Eighty, about the same. Uh, let's see, they've got two. Oh, they've only got one piece, so that shouldn't be too bad to take them out. Hopefully that she hits. <laughs> Even with eighty-seven percent, you know that's still a miss. Okay. Good. All right, and yeah, if you've got the boost, obviously, if you've watched the Emma playthrough, you know all about this. But if you have the boost upgrades now, you now have the ability to improve your movement set. So normally, the the light blue squares or the turquoise or whatever you want is your standard movement. But if you have a good spot, like just a straight line, you can just go boo and just uh, uh, get farther than you would normal move. But it has to be in a straight line. You can't you can't dash like corners or whatever. You know, so keep that in mind too. I don't really want to do this. I might just have a warrior. Could just have them move. Maybe I should have had a um, should have had a and then my two ranged people there and then Kazuki and Rio there. No, oh, well. it's odds are to hit. Oh, is he still out of range? That's yeah. That's the problem with boosting. You can't like you can't uh, you can only boost so far and not not be able to move out of the boost, if, if, if that makes sense. Uh, let's see. No, nah, that won't work. Percentage there. Could have it work on the Jinyo, maybe. That's not a bad percentage. I might have Kazuki and uh, Ryogo go over here and mess with that dude. That might be the best way to go. And then have Ryogo help with the uh, Brenos or the Jinyo. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Hopefully I activate zoom. Nope. Hit. Yes. All right. Excellent. Good start. All right. Now I could. Uh, the problem with Kazuki is because of his his build. It's hard for me to just. Uh, he can't. He he he'll take the he'll take the smackings if I if I let him. Actually, I could just have Ryogo go over there instead since he has a shield. I mean, I have to use more movement to get him over there, but. What is, what's the Brennos' range on their weapons? Oh, uh, sorry, I looked at the wrong thing. Six, huh? And they can move, as far as I know, the Brennos can only, well, they're cranes, right? So they can only move back and forth, so. Six. So even, oh, well, and then he can move and shoot. So basically his range is, So fortunately, it's that almost covers the whole screen. So yeah, it almost would be better just to have Rio go help with that. Really, the only way I would be able to prevent him from getting hit is if I charge like over here and get Rio go behind like a thing. 
unfortunately that means I can't really... But if I do that, I won't, I won't have like, I won't have the percentages for... Let's see, I don't know if I move too close, the Kazel might attack me though. I could just leave well enough alone and just have maybe Ryogo and Kazuki work on this dude. And, uh, well no, Alyssa will get charged and attacked by that dude. I might be overthinking this. Well, yeah, if I move too far, the Kazels will start attacking me too. Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I didn't move pretty close. That's not very good. But if I at least charge over here, this guy at least has a 64%. That's not giving me much. Well, I, I will get a shield hit if anything. Nope. Uh, I was hoping that. Ah, I for <laughs> Well, I blew up his arm, but I was kind of hoping it would be the. I was like. I always forget that most people put their weapons in their left hands or whatever. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, I'll take some damage. Oh, well. Okay, not close enough, so that's good. Man, 50%. This will take I was kind of hoping the Void would activate, but they're at that point where Void 20 might not work anymore, because you could see that they were doing... Did I really move enough for the Kazels to move? Huh. I was hoping that they wouldn't move yet. Alright. Huh, the Brenoses aren't moving to attack me. That's a little weird. Okay, then. That's fine. I'll just, I'll just pick you off, then. Sometimes the AI is weird in this game, just depending on depending on uh, where you're at. Although it's still better AI than some other strategy games I've played before. I was playing this one game a long time ago. I don't know if I want to give it the name to give it bad credit, but I swear, like, the enemies would just run around in circles sometimes, and you're just like, what are you doing? Shouldn't you be coming after me or something? But anyway. All right, if I'm close enough, I well, would I be able to blast him? Blast? Probably not. Yeah, let's see. Oh, That's a weaken that guy. Hopefully, zoom. Yeah. I can never get. Uh, I can always never get enough uh, attacks to uh, or skills to unlock or whatever you want to call it. Oh well. Do do do. Looks like a, even if I'm close, it looks like it's not really that much better. Well, about two percent, but that's moving close enough for the Kazels. We'll just. just... Oh man! Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, the, the game froze for a second. I was like, no. Yeah, it, it only it only blocked like one attack. Unfortunately, we're at that point where the. Uh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work as. Ooh, nice overkill. <laughs> he was like, "Stop! Stop! He's already dead." I feel like I'm not gonna be. Probably not gonna be capturing any max during this. During this fight. Yeah, it might be time to swap out of Void 20 at this point in the game. With the. Uh, ah, nice. With the. Uh, it oh, not even working on the machine gun really anymore. I could swap that out for something else like. Uh, but the Kazels if I get right up on me this quickly. Okay, good. The Brennus is not too close. Ah, no, I can't hit him with a missile. I don't. I didn't have enough money to boot to put boost on a on Emma. Oh well. Let's see. Well, I might as well have her missile the Kazel since he's the has the most HP. Ooh, did confuse? Nice. Or panic shot? That's not really the best ability. It won't be till later on in the game. I almost wish I had Emma for the Emma campaign here because Emma got that one ability which allows you to basically unleash your whole or salvo, which just lets you just murder like the uh, 
the enemy with a salvo. It's awesome. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorite missile abilities. What is his percentage to hit? Oops. Uh, if you press... Uh, I don't know if I know, uh, showed you this, but if you press triangle, you can show what the enemy's percentages to hit you are, but yeah, only 58% to hit them. Although if I put him over here, at least if he does shoot him, he'll most likely go for Liu instead. Uh, yeah, let's just keep weakening the Kazel since, since its attack is the worst, you know, when it just straight up punches you. Right, we'll, uh, might, uh, might count, I might do that and then have uh, Kazuki going with punch get a good decent amount of damage. Didn't hit as well as I thought. Although I might still use a shotgun just because of the, uh, just the, it might damage his legs. Or do I want to go for, try to go for a fist and hit him in the body or arms? If you use a fist, you're more likely to hit in the arms. Oh, a tackle. Nice. I might swap that out for a void, maybe. Ooh, and a jack punch? That might just kill him, though, though. We'll find out. Or it destroys his legs. I can't feel my legs. It's because they ain't there. Yeah, we'll swap out of Void 20. That's that ability's. Well, I don't want to. Uh, yeah. Nope. Come on. There we go. Yeah, Void 20 is basically used its for purpose for the most. Well, I, yeah, of course he was going to get back inside. That's the bad thing is I I should stop like using Kazuki last because if he if he eject punches. Man, if he eject punches, it basically just kind of wastes the ability. Well, actually, it doesn't really because it basically, it's like stun. It basically removes the guy's turn for all intents and purposes. So, still, you know, I, I, it'd be better to get the eject punch, use it, and then finish off the 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 uh, um, finish off the. The uh, pilot, so you can keep the mech to sell it or whatever. Ooh, free of fire two. Yeah, or well, one, one, two. It's all, it's all good. Uh, kill. For a finish mod, send him to another dimension. Four point two rating. I can take that. <laughs> oh man, oh, old Dragon Ball dubs. Yeah, there's really no point because of the crappy shot percentages. That's it's it's hard to almost kind of like, yeah. It's almost hard to like defend gunner types like, you know, they use sniper rifles and stuff like that just because the um, their, per uh, their percentages to certain enemies and the fact that there's one shot. I'm just going to use shotgun because I want to guarantee a headshot. Because with spread damage from a shotgun, there's a really high chance it'll hit the body as well as other pieces. I keep saying head, it's body part. There's no head pieces. We're not playing like uh, anime mecha where, you know, where like Gundam or something like that, even though there are head slots, but... I get this this point. Well, let's see, I can't hit the... I can't hit the Brenos cannon. He's got two shots. I want to save one for the Brenos if I can, although we're at this point where they're going to now attack us now that I've got no other units. Uh, probably best to work on the other... probably take out... or at least work on her. And again, the, uh... Kazel's most HP, though. I'm hoping at some point I can... Actually, I need to look and see if I have the ability to unlock... Ugh. Okay, well, anyway. If I move over here, I could probably... I wouldn't only really have to worry about... Well, I'd have to worry about her. What's the range again on that? Well, actually, it's whatever here, so... Ugh. Yeah, that's going to hurt me the most is the... Uh, uh, is the... Uh, the the shoulder weapons. Now we're not in a very good spot either. Look at that. Like we're like everyone's in cover or something like that. Can't hit anyone if I'm him. No, not him or him. Yeah, Leo. Well, you don't have to attack. It's just I prefer if you do something. But but he hasn't been hit yet. So even if the Brennus. Well, let's see. Even if the Brennos pops out on his turn, I could just move him here and then move him straight upwards. 
Because if I move too close, the genies are going to attack him, although he does have a shield. Well, I could prevent one damage at least if I just move over here. The Brennos will have a very poor chance of hitting. So we'll do that. I'm just, just trying to decide if I want to just have Kazuki just straight up move up there. He's not going to have any backup, though. Not really. Not with the... I mean, Kazuki get up there. Maybe we need to... You know what I need to do is just... I don't think I can boost up ramps like that, though. Uh, okay, well, I'm just going to move my dudes here, and hopefully... And hopefully, uh, uh the genie attacks, uh... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hopefully the genie attacks, uh, Alyssa. I think she will. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, my little... I don't know if you can hear random noise in the background. It's basically... Yep. But that's fine. Alyssa's never been hit, so... You can hear weird things in the background. My headset, like, cord keeps moving around. Why don't you use wireless headsets? Because I'm poor. I mean, that's true. But <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave her here. Um, yeah, go and take out that dude if you can. Please hit. Don't miss this time. Thank you. Ah, the Brannos has never even hit me. They should have easily moved down and attacked. You know, but whatever. Okay, so... Yeah, if I do that... Well, actually, that's not even close enough, is it? Oh, it is. Because I, I definitely want to work on getting to the genies. Because, you know, they're the ones that can do, like, a ton of damage. Well, I mean... The, me the Hazel can too, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's if you don't have the boost, like I said, it's not that big of a deal, but it definitely helps. Uh, uh, it's not very good either way for good. I'd rather have him work on the genies. Yeah, not as much damage as he likes, so we're gonna get busted with some with some attacks from the genies. Uh, let's see if I move. that, though. Let's see. That means it'll leave me with... Can he move that far, though? I think he can. What's his What's his movement there with this guy? Six. One, two, three, four, six. Oh, no, if I... Uh, I'd rather not risk it twice if I can help it. I might just have Liu be wasting two of his turns. I hate I hate like when a character doesn't can't doesn't do anything. Cause our other well, you don't have to kazoo, uh, he could take a punch and a missile, but he'd lose his arm. He could still do it. Yeah, we'll do that. He needs to do some damage. Yes, zoom, awesome. Haha! I really wish that comboed more, but it won't be till near the end of the game till we uh, start getting. Like really good combos. Well, depending on what computer I buy, but we'll get to that whenever whenever that becomes a thing. Can you? <laughs> well, at least he's hitting the he's hitting his arms. He doesn't like being punched. And he takes out the arm that has nothing on it. But hey, I'd rather have I'd rather <laughs> luckily somehow combo it three times. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that mech had. I should have checked to see if he had the uh, high enough jump. Do I want to punch or do I want to... Because if I shotgun, I might have a chance of stunning him, which is very low, but... And I might even blow up his arm. Probably not, but let's find out. Ah! Nuts. Oh! Right in, this, right in this body piece. Dang it. That one. I'm trying to wonder... I'm trying to think if I want to have a... Ejected! Oh, come on! You know what, what the odds are of that happening? Of course, happens to me. Ugh. Boo! Boo earns. Whatever. Waste a turn. Move it back into the mech. Boy, that's so dumb. Actually, since he's getting attacked by by uh, her, I'm, I can. Well, one of the benefits. It, it doesn't happen too often, but one of the benefits of. Um, of being ejected is you can get back in and change out your uh, stats, but you have to waste the turn getting in and getting out. So, depending, it might not be worth it. Do 
want to waste 100 credits on a missile. Because I'd have to buy another missile pack after this. But I have to use the turn using that, and then next turn get to do something. Uh, I might be able to finish them off pretty soon without having to resort to... Well, he's taking hardly any damage, though. Okay, we'll do it. It's only 100 credits, and she's not doing anything anyway, so... I've captured a couple of Max, earned a couple of extra creds, so... And she's being a... Uh, the genie is attacking her anyway, so... Okay, well, let's back up so we don't get punched. What? Yeah, it's, it's only 2% more, so... Oh, he surrendered. Nice. We'll mess with him last, then, after finishing off. Her. Close, but... Could have done better. Alright. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, you're gonna... Missile him again. Now I almost wish I didn't use the missile thing, because now that he surrendered, he's not even a threat anymore. Alright, yep. Burn their shield. I should. I. If, if we're. Well, is this the final turn? Yeah, we're not going to be able to finish that, so we might get a, a few percentage points off for not. Uh, uh, for not finishing it fast. Oh, panic attack. Oh, skill. Oh, that's nice. That's a good one. Um, you get that from the leg parts, I think, that she has. Well, basically, what skill one does is improves your um, improves basically your attack with that item uh, with with that ability or whatever. So, um, so you do like your accuracy to hit increases slightly, as well as your damage increases slightly too. So it's actually not a bad one to to get. Um, let me see. It's probably her leg part, I bet. Yep. We just haven't unlocked it. I haven't played this game crazily enough to where I I know what every single part does, you know, and, and all that, so. I could just move up here and get a height advantage. Because you get, if you're higher than your opponent, you get a, um, you get a percentage increase, too. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be finishing off that turn. Although we hit, yeah, because we'd have to finish, Kazuki could probably fit, well, no, I better have Kazuki. Mainly because he can just boost over there and be a bit more effective. I don't know, maybe he might surrender. Oh, AP minus 30, wow. Don't really need that? Basically, what it does is just reduces your your attack um, uh, AP cost by 30%. Oh, he, nice. Uh, so we got two, wow, we get two surrenders, that's pretty good. Um, I usually don't use these AP percentages because it doesn't, well, it can be helpful depending on how your movement are, but I'd rather have rate of fire up for comedy purposes. I think that's from his late, I think that's from the K Kazel or Kazel leg pieces, I think. Man, we're starting to unlock it. I'm almost unlocking stuff faster than in the, than in the, um, uh, Emma campaign. That one took me forever to get stuff to unlock, I swear. Yeah, if we just shotgun. Shotgun her. That should finish her off. Sorry. Sorry, Commander. This base is being taken over. I never knew the Rebels had such a powerful squad. I don't even know if that's the voice I... Yeah, we'll have to... Unfortunately, yeah, because of the... Uh... Well, we'll get a minus, but that's not a big deal. Um... Who won't straight up... Oh, wait, he... Well, no, he has that shield arm. Nuts. Um, and unfortunately, Liss is the only character that has like a uh, a non. You could. Well, I'm not gonna waste a turn. You could eject out of your out of your vehicle and uh, um, shoot them with your dude, and that would work. Yeah. Too bad there's not a way to like just give him a light tap. You know what I mean? Because I want to keep those mechs. There's got to be a way to, like, not straight up. Because if I punch him, maybe? But I might tackle him, too, and finish him off. I kind of wish you could unequip stuff during the middle of combat, but I know why you can't. I mean, I don't need these mechs. I just want to have extra money down the line, because we will need money later on in the game. Um, okay, if I snipe him, maybe it's in the body, he'll kill him. Ryogo, if he rates a fires any of them, he'll kill him. 
I could purposely move someone in a spot that will give a really crappy percentage. And not far enough. Uh, let's see. Maybe if I back up just enough, it'll be it'll give him a really poor percentage to hit. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can get like zero or something like that, so it'll count as a shot. Wow, I'm surprised I can still hit through those boxes pretty good. Okay, good. Oh, it won't even let me hit. Because it's so poor, it's not even considered a viable option. That 63 might be my best shot. That I'll miss. Of course, then I'll zoom and attack him like five times. Nice. One of the few times I wanted to miss. That's why I keep Alyssa without giving her another weapon, like a melee weapon. Like, really, because I like having her fist. Like, if she happens to get close in combat, she can just boom, punch him, and there you go. Nice! Got a platinum. The only thing I lost was that, so I could sell that Kazel and sell that Genie, make some extra bank. Well, they give me about 500 credits, but that's still enough to upgrade, like, you know, uh, all my bonus stuff or save it if I need to buy parts or ammo for the missiles since I use that, you know, so that was a really good, I thought that did really well. That's actually one of the fights you could possibly not get platinum on the first time because of how much damage the break, uh, the crane guns and everything is. So this is the attack squad. The band is ready. Repeat, the band is ready. That fight probably went a little bit too long because I was kind of like messing around and questioning my own decisions. But anyway, this is HQ, Roger. Start the dance again. I'm more of a fan of uh, Carmen. Or, no, wait, what's the name? Uh, the, the Charleston. Charleston, Charleston, made of Carolina. Charleston, da 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 Anyway, we've done it. Defeat the base. Oh, wait, before we... I was going to do my exit, but I forgot I was... I was going to try to check mail every episode. Sorry, I won't be having a network episode. Well, well network, we'll just do the mail. If there's any mail, if not, we're just going to call it an episode. I was actually going to do my outro, and I'm like, oh, right, I, I was trying to make sure to check mail every episode just in case. If anything, news comes about. I don't want to miss out on any... Uh... Okay, nothing's there. Good, cool. I will have to remind myself to... Actually, might as well just do it right now. So, yeah, luckily, I don't know if I showed this, but if you go to the network, you can actually shop for specific parts um, and, like, items and stuff like that. So, in this case, I'm going to buy um, uh, just a, another missile thing for her. Cool. And, yeah, if you... Uh, I don't know if I showed... The, I know I showed this during the Emma path, but, I don't, but, yeah, you can buy the... If you, for some reason, have been having a hard time... Um, uh, capturing mechs, you can buy them here. Now, remember, at some point, you won't be able to buy certain mech parts. Like, it'll kind of change out of the course of the game. I know Network tends to have... keep older parts longer than in the story. Like, in the main story, at some point, you can't buy certain mech parts. So you have to go back to the Network if you want to buy parts that you maybe want to unlock a skill or, or ability you wanted but couldn't before. Stuff like that. So keep kind of keep that in mind. But, but there's no... But we won't get any new parts here until shops in the story give us the parts. So you have to keep that in mind as well. So, But yeah, luckily the network will let you buy older parts if you, for some reason, had a really hard time capturing mechs or whatever. So, But anyway, we've gotten inside the facility itself. But with her destroy, uh, with the, uh, well, I don't know if she even knows she's the main leader destroyed. Manalo was, I think that was a she, maybe he, I'm not sure. <laughs> I have a... Uh, with anime, sometimes it's hard with certain characters to tell what they look like, especially with mo more modern anime types. But anyway, sorry. So in the next episode of uh, Front Mission 3, we'll enter inside the facility and hopefully take it out. Well, actually, no, I guess we're done with the facility. Maybe it means we're on to something new because that was it, right? So, well, wherever the rebels want us to go, we'll help them with it because it's all part of the master plan. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.